new miniseries from the pages of the Teen Titans. But is it worth getting into? Find out as we look at Terror Titans number one. Hey Zappers, welcome back to Shazap.com. I'm Devin Curry and we are your number one online video source for comic book news and reviews. On this edition of Shazap, we're taking a look at Terror Titans number one. Now I've always loved the Ravager character. She's tough, a badass, and was a great contrast to the other members of the Teen Titans. In fact, she was actually the only thing I liked about the Titans post-crisis. Like I said, I thought she was a good part of the team and I was looking forward to her coming around and sticking with the team. I honestly wasn't expecting much from this title, but it looks like it will be pretty good. There's plenty of action and as I said, I love Ravager. I really want her to be one of the good guys though and it speaks to the quality of the writing that I was actually disappointed and felt bad for her when she started taking the adrenaline shots. And it was obvious that she was giving the Clock King power over her and I want to see her break free from that. Even though it has kind of that trite, you know, the drug story, uh, an addiction storyline that goes in and falling in with the bad crowd and all that fun stuff. It's a little PBS, you know, uh, afternoon special, but the bottom line is they've got me interested and I'll be coming back next issue. Thanks for tuning in to Shazap.com. Remember you can blog on the homepage and let me know what you think is coming up for this uh, series. And you can follow me at twitter.com slash Devin Curry. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.